Mr. Sivan, may I use the opportunity of uh, un knowing a little bit more about you? Uh, I'm told that you are very, you're a very private person. You only talk about work. Uh, you only talk about ISRO. <laughs> but, you know, I, I love to talk to people who become inspirations. And, uh, you know, once upon a time, people used to say, if we become uh, scientists, we want to work in NASA. Now everybody says, when we become scientists, we want to work in ISRO. And you are one of those reasons. You're a humble man. You're a very, you're a very modest man. But uh, your life, uh, you know, is an inspiration to many of my viewers. Uh, so, Mr. Sivan, can you tell me a little bit about your own background from your village in Tamil Nadu? Uh, you went to government schools barefoot. You have worked on your father's farm. Uh, and, the, you know, you, were, you, you joined the Madras Institute of Technology. Can you just tell me a little bit about your childhood and your initial story? Uh, and the obstacles that you overcame to reach where you where you are today. Uh, uh, basically, that's actually you are uh, very nicely summarized uh, what uh, I wanted to tell, but still I wanted to elaborate. See, that is uh, 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 I have one unique characteristic. The sense uh, also be, maybe because of the background uh, what we have uh, that uh, I, I have grown up this one. And when I was uh, that uh, work uh, studying in that uh, primary school, government school, we didn't have any big uh, that uh, the dream or this one. Like people used to tell that I have a dream, become scientist like that. At that time, that our uh, the uh, main aim is to get food for our uh, stomach, and so that we had to work in that the farm that our uh, school uh, that not only secondary this one. And uh, at the same time that when we are grow, when I was growing up, my aim was to only become a teacher or uh, it's a bank employee like that. And uh, only thing is that is uh, uh, that uh, when I did my uh, uh, after my uh, that uh, pre university at that time that the pre university was uh, the thing. Then I wanted to go for engineering, but my father said, uh, "No, no, you cannot go to engineering. I cannot pay the the, the expenditure." So he asked me to go to the BSc, and uh, then I went to BSc. Then after that BSc, then my professor told me to go to MI, uh, Madras Institute of Technology. And uh, one thing that I have seen that in my all along, that is uh, uh, one experience I had, that probably that uh, I may be ex uh, exaggerating, but still I want to tell. Whatever I was uh, th th trying to uh, th uh, get as my first choice, I never got it. I always got disappointed. But at the same time, then after I got into that, the next that what I got, what instead of what I what I what I thought, I what I got, I found that for that was the right thing. So sometimes I used to feel that that the Dalai Lama's statement. Sometimes that whatever you are not getting, there is a wonderful stroke of luck. So definitely that way that I I grown up and uh, uh, that uh, that after BSc I went to the Madras Institute Technology after Madras Institute Technology studies I wanted to go for a job but at that time we are not engineering but I didn't get a job so I was forced to go to that the ME then like that it was uh, going on and wherever I was trying to get into but I never got a first chance. So I always get that uh, second chance, but I consider that as a second chance is always a good for me. Then I, I really came up like that. So. That's that's it's very very fascinating, Mr. Sivan. I also never got my first option ever. I wanted to do economics honors. I did not get admission. I wanted to do law after that. I could not do law. <laughs> when I when I did my masters, I wanted to do a PhD. I could not get the funding and the fellowship for the PhD. So, uh, the, you know, so therefore I entered the field of journalism. But sometimes, you know, life is like that, no? that you, you don't get your first choice, but you still work towards your long-term dream. 